Why do most leaders struggle to attract sponsorship? It's because the focus is on the transaction. For example, we will give you X, Y, Z and benefits in return for X amount of dollars. Companies get hundreds of these proposals every single week, stating how much exposure they can get, how much CSR they can do, and basically how many boxes they can tick on their doing good list in return for exposure. That means as a non-for-profit, you are in competition with every other non-for-profit out there because everyone is offering the exact same thing, seemingly aligning with company's values. But often it really is just an attempt to make it look like the best fit. For example, organizations research values for companies and then try to fit the proposal with these values and show how well they align. But the values you can research to a vast majority are superficial and often they're just broad statements that are not necessarily lived by the teams inside the organizations. So in the end, as a nonprofit, you're trying to match up with ambiguous values and you spend a whole lot of time and money to make your proposal stand out. But how can it stand out? Well, really, people do business with people, not with companies. So as a leader, the key is to connect to other leaders. And connecting is not transactional. It's about engaging with people. And on this person-to-person -person level, you will understand the values, the real values, and be able to ascertain if you are aligned or not. And once you connect, the transactional part can be sorted out. So why most leaders struggle to attract sponsorship is because they focus on the best proposals rather than building the best connections.